Hello YouTube, thought I'd do a quick video of some people asked me about my repeater antenna here. Um, what I did is I made a ground plane, it's a mobile, magnetic mobile antenna and truth be told I had this antenna laying around, it's some business band antenna, it was in a box I've had for a long time. I don't even know what band it was supposed to be for to be honest. I know it had a, a little bit longer antenna and it had a coil in it. I took all that off and I cut a new antenna for it. And I got this thing down to 1.079 SWR, uh, which is really good. Now, I know you can buy, uh, you know, for like $30 on up, you can buy a little ground plane kit for your mobile, magnetic mobile antenna. But I don't know if you can buy them like this or not. But I did this a little differently. I did four of the aerials, ground plane aerials, at a 45 degree angle. And I did a video about this a while back ago. I'll try to post a link down below. And that's because you want to get the impedance to about 50 ohms. Now, 45 is a rough estimate. You would probably have to tweak it a little bit. Um, and I did four aerials straight out. For the ground plane and I did that because it's a magnetic mount and on a car it, you know you, you, you don't have 45 degree angles usually on a car so I did it both ways now I don't know I have you know I did this antenna here for a, a, a repeater I did that video where I had two repeaters around the same time that's what I made this antenna for and I had the materials laying around so I didn't have to really buy anything um, but I do want to show you, I'll, I'll show you up close. I want to show you the SWR. I have the antenna hooked up to my Nano VNA analyzer to a computer. I apologize for the sun. Hopefully you can see that. Of course, my screen's dirty. That stands the reason. So that's my SWR, okay? Let's go to the Smith chart and see what that says. Now, remember, the, the, you know, it's approximately a 45 degree angle. You can adjust that by adjusting the angle uh, on that. That would tell you uh, what it is. Now, let me call this up. 53. So that's pretty good. I could tweak that if I wanted to, obviously, by just bending the, the angle a little, bending those rods out a little bit more. But I think 53 is really good. So uh, that's not bad. Now, you're probably wondering. I'll show you the antenna up close. Um but how I did the angle was I took an old piece of 2x4 and I cut at a 45 degree angle and I laid my rod on there. Now at the time I, I, I brazed, I'll show you here up close, but I brazed my rods onto a piece of sheet metal. I could have probably bent them in the vise without brazing them or heating up the rod to bend them. But since I had the torch out for brazing purposes, that's why you see the wood is burnt because I lay the rod on here and I would heat it up and bend it at a 45. So that's that's how I got my 45. So let's go up to the antenna close and kind of show you guys this up closer. Like I said, I had this material around and pretty much just a piece of sheet metal. The width of it's about five and a half inches wide, about six and a half long. These rods are about a quarter inch diameter. Like I said, I had them laying around. They're about 16 inches long. And I have four that I bent at 45s and four that are just straight out. I should put this antenna up high and try to, you know, try to see how well this works. The SWRs are really good. Now, like I said, I brazed it. Now, you could take a piece of, you know, metal and make a clip and then drill two holes if you, you know, if you don't have a... a access to a uh, welder but or depending on what material you use maybe you can drill the holes right in the rod and run small nuts and bolts but I just you know I have a welder so I would just braze them on quick like I said the piece of sheet metal actually the metal's kind of from the heat kind of got warped a little bit but I got really good SWR so I think this is going to work fairly decent now I could adjust these angles here try to improve you know my my impedance but I don't think I'm going to I think 53 is good enough let's go back down here so I think we're just gonna leave that and I only have this antenna about I don't know 
eight feet high. So it's not real high. I didn't need it real high for my little test for my repeater. There's the other one there. That's about 30 feet. So I should try to put that up there and to see how well this thing does. But like I said, you know, just metal I laying around. So if you want to make one, that's how you do it. Real simple. You can make it with just about any type of material and you don't need a welder. Uh, so there you have it. If you have any questions or comments, please post them down below. Please subscribe. Thank you and have a good day.